Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build this kind of ruined medieval tower. Um, so it's kind of partially ruined. I haven't actually kind of knocked in the walls on this one at all. Uh, but if we actually go inside, if we can actually get inside without going into this, you can see that I've kind of got the floor kind of falling down a little bit. Um, it's a bit, lots and lots of vines everywhere. We've got these kind of window parts here, and there's another floor, and then you've got the actual roof, which is also kind of falling apart. Um, so it's a pretty cool design. You can have it as a normal one as well if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, there's not really that, that that much to this build. It should be a pretty quick tutorial. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to place down the kind of bottom layer these kind of uh, pillars that are on the side. So you're just going to go up by four with your stone bricks. You got one, two, three, and four. You leave the gap, then go up by four. So you got one, two, three, four. There'll be four of these in total on this side like this. So you've got four here. Now what we're going to do is you're just going to go out diagonally and do the same. And then this will go back as well. Four. And the same. And here. So this is the kind of base that you should have like that so they'll just go in basically these walls have just been kind of almost pushed out by one and grab your stone brick stairs just put these on the top these just facing the in the kind of inside part now what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the inside and we're just going to cover up these holes that we put here and go up by five so you got one two three four five it'll be the same layer of levels we've actually got with uh the stone brick stairs like this And just basically go all the way around with these. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to choose one of these uh, kind of four faces as your main kind of doorway in. So I'm just going to cut this one out here. And I'm going to go up one block. That's so where you're going to have a stone brick stair, which is upside down here. And then you have a chiseled stone brick uh, kind of block here. And I just put a stair on top of it for the time being. This will give you a kind of rough entrance. Then what you're going to do is grab your blocks and just in these corner pieces, we're just going to fill in these bits here. You could go all the way down if you wanted to, it's really up to you. Just fill in those corner pieces and then what you're going to do is on each side you're going to go by four. So you've got this piece here, so you've got one, two, three and four. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four. You're basically doing exactly what we did before. Like this. So we're just moving in by that one block. And again with your stairs, just put these on the top of this section like this. That. And then what we're going to do is grab your stairs again, and just on this part, you have three stairs going across like that. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And this one here will be slightly different. You actually have stairs on the sides like this. So that'll be normal. And then if you just put a block in behind like that. And if you grab your blocks again, we're just going to go on the inside and we're going to come inwards. All we're going to do is basically go around and make this kind of frame. Same on the kind of front part, which is slightly different. Like this. Actually grab them. So it's just going to be one block in. It does make it quite a small tower. At least this part really small, but it doesn't really matter. Take that one, and go up. So then we'll get these kind of window parts. And what I did for these is I actually used iron bars. Um, so if you just put these in for the time being. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lay this kind of shape that we did here, which is a 4 by 3 shape. We're just going to do that on top. So you're just going to go across by 3, then go up by 4. So you've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Like this. It's going to create these two kind of these window parts. Like that. And of course, there's one block in there I've actually missed out. Uh, so once you've done that, also put in a block on these kind of corner parts here. Just like that, and exactly the same, put in your iron bars. Like this. And now if you go on the top, what we're going to do is on each of these corner pieces, we're just going to place down a block like this. Now if you just grab your either cobblestone wool or mossy cobblestone wool 
If you don't have this, you can use something like Nether Brick Fence, it will look cool as well. So you can just put that in there, and if we come to the front here, I just need to add an extra stair in this part, like that. Okay, so that gives us the kind of basic part. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a bit of the kind of styling on it. If you do want a normal tower, I actually advise using normal cobblestone wool. So what I might do is I might do a normal one and then show you guys how to make it kind of a bit more ruined, have that kind of look. So if I'm just going to use normal cobblestone wool, and then what you're going to do is on these corner pieces of your wall, you're going to go up, but not right next to this uh, little steps there. We're about to the seconds. It's just on these corners like this, and on the other side. So that gives us those, and then we're going to do the next one. That just goes on these kind of platforms that we created earlier. Like that, and then there's one last one as we go in. Now last time. So that gives us the kind of basic part of the tower. Um, so now what we can kind of do as well, which I've kind of this is kind of an add-on from because um, this was a kind of older design actually, but switching out these ones for the stairs here and here, which will give you these kind of nice recessed parts. And of course this one you can't do because of the entrance. But you can do them on all these other ones here. So stairs and upside down stairs. And I think that'll look yeah, that looks better. So if we just switch out those ones. Okay, so that gives us that kind of style, so that's the kind of basic uh, tower, so you can see how much room we've got inside, which isn't that crazy, and you've got these weird kind of recessed walls as well in here. Um, if we go right to the top, what I actually used for the flooring on this was actually cobblestone, I still wanted it to be quite stone worked, like this, so there's our actual top floor, and you can probably get up by a ladder or something like that. Um, so now I'm going to go over kind of what you can do to make it look a little bit more more kind of uh, style like this, which looks really cool. And this in the minute still looks quite cool, it's just um, not as cool as this one. So I'm just going to get rid of all these items. That's what I did, is obviously vines are really useful. Um, I use the mossy cobblestone wall on all of the side parts. Um, but also, if I can actually grab these, so you've got mossy cobblestone bricks cob and cracked bricks, and I actually also used mossy, co mossy stone as well, so you can see how kind of how many blocks we got. We got one, two, and three different blocks here, and we've actually got four in total. And you can see the kind of effect that has. And all you have to do for, to kind of get this style is literally just well, probably not the way that I just did it, but knock out a couple of them right here, here, and just kind of add a bit of variation in the, the actual build. And that I didn't want to do, so now I'll switch those out. I'm just going to grab this and go up a couple. Like that. So you can basically go around the entire build, messing around with it a bit, and uh, really trying to come up with, up with your own style. Another thing you can do is grab this chiseled stone brick, and actually on each of these bits before it actually goes up, uh, you can actually put in possibly these chiseled stone bricks. So I'm just going to see what this looks like. So if I put in that, if I just grab these as well. So it doesn't look too bad either, and of course you can then bring it up just to give a bit more variation to this part. There, and maybe even these could be as well. So you, you can kind of mess around with a lot of the different blocks that you've got uh, to kind of make a style. And then all I did again for this kind of ruined bit is just throw down a load of random vines. I just went pretty heavy with the vines actually. Wherever I can place them, especially kind of trying to get them over these windows as well, which is probably why I put in the four blocks now. Um, I'll just come around, place these, place one of those as well. Like that, pretty much. Um, I'll just show you what I did for the inside part in a little bit more detail. So floor wise, I kind of have this bigger room here and then the first floor is kind of here and I used a mixture to actually get these ruined kind of uh, 
floor look. Is use a mixed mixture of the planks and also the slabs. Um, I kind of make it look like they've fallen down or bits of them have fallen down. Um, and also obviously putting the vines on the inside. So I've done that there. I've also done it on this floor here. I've just got with the kind of planks on this floor. And then just at the top I've just got a couple of bits of cobblestone so there's a lot of light coming through. Um, but that is pretty much it. So another thing you can do with this tower is also these parts if you wanted to you can go up with your cobblestone wool to add it, make it a little bit different maybe. Um, I kind of like having the recessed parts to be honest. I think it looks quite cool. But it's really up to you what you want to do on these. So I can just go around this and put this in on the wall. Like that. So you can do that and make it a little bit more kind of solid. Um, and also you might do some grabby stairs and actually put them down possibly. I don't know what that looks like. That looks kind of okay-ish. I'm not that keen on it actually. So it's kind of up to you what you can kind of do with this. Uh, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial um, on how to make this kind of ruined tower. And, and kind of see how I've done it with this one. This one's got a heavy amount of the mossy so kind of cobblestone. Uh, not mossy cobblestone, mossy stone bricks. Um, and also the chisel, uh, the cracked ones as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.